What's going on, the fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys finally. I've uh, been crazy here, working, doing my thing. Actually, I'll be probably having to find another job because, long story short, you got uh, small business owners that don't know how to run a business, if you know what I mean, and they're making good money to boot. So, anyway, whole different story. Not a big deal. Just get another job, rock and roll. You know how that is. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of jumping from job to job. This one here wasn't. I wasn't there too long. Probably about five years. But it is what it is, no problem. Just run out there and get another one. But uh, anyway, guys, got a couple moon videos for you today. This one here is pretty decent. I think you guys will like this. Um, uh, I know uh, uh, there's a friend of mine. He's also a sub. Uh, he goes by Taff Baker. He'll enjoy this. This is one of his favorite photos. Uh, I believe this is of Crook's Crater, uh, they call it. And I'm going to get right into it. This won't be a loud, uh, long one. But here's the thing, too, guys. I've got one that's crazy. You guys are going to love this. This photos from the Russians back in 1966, so on and so forth. Wait until you see some of these, and that's going to be the next video. So, uh, but check this out. This one here is, and you can see right here on the screen, um, it is, uh, you know, from Apollo 11. And you can see right there, and from, you know, NASA and so on and so forth. Uh, and this is AS 11-42-6248, July 1969, an Apollo oblique view of the lunar far side. Uh, in the area of the International Astronomical Union Crater, number 312, which is about 30 statute miles in diameter. Now, I'm not sure if they're talking about this one here or this one in the, you know, there's two of them in the center. I'm not sure, but I think, it, but this is the one we're concentrating on. I believe that's Crook's Crater right there. The center of the photograph is located at 61, I'm sorry, 164 degrees west longitude and 8 degrees south latitude. The sharp shadows indicate that the picture was taken at a low sun angle. Okay, so let's, let's hit the high res. And what's funny about this thing, this is awesome. Uh, because it just goes to show you there's more things in this moon than they're letting on. But I want to bring your attention to this. This is funny. When I seen this, I almost died. In the upper right corner right here, you can see like a certain texture right here in this whole area. And let's go ahead and zoom into this because I think you guys will like this. Uh, it just goes to show you that there's more going on with these photos as far as manipulation and, uh, you know, obscuring a lot of this stuff. Because look at that. Eh, pretty much a decent texture. All of a sudden, looks like this, like left to right striations if you will um and i'm saying to myself what the hell does that now we've done this live now we were on you for um we were actually on facebook live um with uh mars moon space which is thomas mikey uh which was the host now you guys can go uh go on facebook and look up a mars moon space or youtube mars moon space channel um in fact he's on mine he's one of the people i'm following you know because we're you for you for family so we just you know um you know, we basically have, you know, everybody on our pages and so on and so forth. But what's funny about it is now you can on Saturdays at four o'clock Eastern time, 4 p.m. Eastern time, um, we'll either do YouTube live, which everybody can join in and comment, so on and so forth, or uh, YouTube live. You know, either way, we do it either way. So as long as you're, you know, uh, on Facebook following or YouTube following, which which have you, uh, you're going to be able to follow this. And like I said, it's every Saturday at 4 p.m., so check it out. You guys will like this. Now, I did show this particular um, photo on here, and I'm, you'll see what, what I mean by it in a second. But they're saying, you know, one of the guys was saying, well, this it's probably this white powder or part of the ejector, if you will, from whatever impacted this crater. And then, of course, it just went out all over. But here's my problem with that. If you picture something round, which a crater usually is typically, you know, whatever goes out, it just goes out straight, meaning in every direction. But this is sideways. It's horizontal. See this? All of this. Now, look at it again. This texture, suddenly all of this. Check this out. Why is there a whole, a whole lot more detail here? Well, it's because it's airbrushed, man. It's airbrushed. But this is what I like about this photo. Now, I just noticed this just before I started making this video. Look at all these little things right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me just zoom in, see what we can get here. Look at all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like little things. Look at this right here. One, two, three, four, five. It's like this. they're burying stuff in this, if you will. Um, and it's, it's just crazy how they do these photos. But check this out. This is what caught my eye. And I've seen this photo a long time ago. But... Taff likes this thing, and it's a good reason. It's a good reason for it. Now, check this out. By the way, he's got a great eye for this stuff. But check this out. Look in the middle of this crater. <laughs> I'm like, what in the hell is that? Watch this. Let's zoom in. Get right to it. Check it out. It's almost like if you could tilt your head slightly to the left, if you can picture yourself as this person big enough for this, it almost looks like you'd be standing here, and there's another step. It's like there's steps. One two but see the way it's got this corner goes over to this way then you get the bottom one goes over to here and then drops down 
it looks like some kind of cube, like this double, like a structure of some sort. But here's the thing. If this is the crater they're talking about, and again, I believe this is Crook's Crater, um, it's 30 statute miles. What the hell? So, but you get into this thing a little bit more because the eyes will play games. If you notice, check this out. Look how everything's so highlighted or brightened up. Uh, it's just like, wow, you know what I mean? And let's say for argument's sake, it's not. Let's say it's the natural light in the whole nine yards, which I highly doubt um, because they've been caught putting in shadows at, in different places. Uh, this, and you can see this again on the top right. It's just, it's crazy that, you know, the way they do these, you can just tell the difference in texture and how they fudge this out. But you're going to see that it's a little bit better in a second. Here again, right there. And then all of a sudden it gets into these horizontal striations and stuff. Yeah, no way. Um, so anyway, let's back out just a little bit. Um, and we'll get rid of that. We don't need that. Um, check this out. But this is what I didn't notice, and you guys are going to like this. You see the square. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more because this is a big photo. We can do that. But check this out. There's something going off to the right, up and off to the right. See it right there? It's on this block. goes off. There's another piece here. And then a smaller piece there. But check this out, guys. It does exactly the same thing on the other side. One here. Another small piece sticking out. Another smaller piece. This is one big structure, whatever it is. And also take note of this. In the back, there looks like another cube of some sort. See it right there? So you've got this one, this one, this whole big piece right here. And you can see they look cubed, like 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 in a cube form, and you've got what looks like pieces sticking up, but it, they're they're like identical on the opposite side. So it tells me that maybe this is much bigger structure, and they're doing everything they could they can to hide it. I mean, there's something here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see where it's a nice shop edge right there, right here. It keeps going, but they've fudged it around or did something to to try to hide whatever the hell this thing is right here. See where it's right there and goes down. Okay, whatever this thing is is pretty large. I mean, I can back out of this, and it's like, what the hell is that? See that? And it's right smack dab in the middle. Now, let's have a closer look. Um, well, I did this one here, which we already know. Um, this one here, and of course, I'm just showing. And you can see where I got photo, too, on the upper left. And Because I did this, uh, again, for the um, uh, Facebook Live. So, And you can see it right there. Now, let's get into the more zoomed in, and then I outline, and then darken this thing up a little bit. Uh, throw a little more contrast. Okay, check this out. In this yellow box, you can see it here in the, on the left, and you can see it has, it's symmetrical. It has the identical pieces on the other side. So is this even broken right here, or is this actually a whole unit? It appears to be a giant structure of some sort. This clearly is not a, a crater or a rock, a boulder. You can see this with your own eyes. And you can see what I did right here. You can see the step, this block pot, the piece in the back, and it has these pieces sticking up, one here, one here, and then the smaller ones, so on and so forth. It's hard to do, try to get around it this way. It's a little sloppy. But um, but now check this out a little a little bit better now. Upper right, that looks pretty relatively smooth. All of a sudden, look at these striations in here. And you can see what it looks like, all of these little details. Now, more and more, the more you add contrast, the more these things start to pop. What's that tell you? That means it's showing you more. It's enhancing this thing so much more that you can see that, you can see where they've actually manipulated this photo. I mean, you can see that. Clearly, that's not just ejecta coming out in every direction straight out. Clearly, you can see it's horizontal. And you can see where they still did it a little bit here. They kind of try to blend it in there a little bit. So when they put high contrast um, and just bring this thing really bright, you don't see it. You don't see these details. And again, it's the same thing as this here because if you go back to the original, and we can do that. I mean, I can just zoom into here. Um, you can see... I mean, if you just looked at it real quick, you'd go, oh, yeah, wow, look at that. A little bit of fudging here. Well, yeah, it's a nice big crater. No big deal. Also, I don't know if you guys notice this, but check this out. Line, it looks like it goes like this. It goes back over. has something small right there. I mean, guys, crazy stuff in these photos, man. Um, jump back into this. Check this out. See this right here on the left of that red circle? There's a line. It appears to go back. There's something laying here as well in this, on this, on this, uh, inside this crater, if you will. Um, and is you can see like little pieces and things just in there. There's a whole bunch of debris or something, uh, a structure. I've been saying this for a while. I believe the moon's been around, obviously, for millions of years, and I believe that many things may have crashed on this. How do we know that has or you know lived? Things have come over to to uh, land on it, maybe crashed and never could get off the moon. Well, for whatever reason, 
And this is the reason why you see these weird things. Like I said, this thing right here in the middle. Clearly, that is not a rock. That is something of some large structure laying inside this crater. What is it? You guys tell me. But that, to me, screams intelligently made. Clearly not a boulder, rock, uh, or another crater in, within a crater. You don't see any of that. You don't. That's it. <clears throat> and you guys are free to look this up. In fact, I'll give you the link in the bottom um, for uh, this particular photo, the original anyway, um, which is here. And we can just jump back. And I'll give you the link to this, and you guys could just hit the high res. And, of course, this is the low res, which I don't know if you'd want to see that because it's kind of crap. Um, you just want the highest resolution you can get. And and you can see it's, you know, a lot better. You can zoom in a lot better. And, like I said, I just did that, and I didn't do anything to this. And there you go. It's clearly it's right there. But see how they blend everything so well? Blacks and whites, if you don't have color in any way, shape, or form, you cannot – it's just another way to – uh, not see an indiv individual part, uh, structure, whatever it may be. If everything's black or white, you see no color in anything. And therefore, you know what I mean? It's just like uh, you won't see any individuality. And a lot of times it, it hides these anomalies from the surrounding areas. It hides detail. So therefore, you know, you just, yeah, you just don't see it. That's what it comes down to. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep this one very long. I told you I wouldn't keep it very long. I got another one coming up from the moon, but this goes way back. And you guys are going to love this because there's a couple other naysayers in there. I'm going to show them some other pictures, too, that is going to go, okay, yeah, that's, that's just weird. Um, but it's also going to show you that manipulation didn't start frequently. I mean, well, I shouldn't say frequently. Recently, I'm sorry. Um, it wasn't recently that this started. This goes way back to the 50s and 60s, man, when they started airbrushing, so on and so forth. Um, and I'm going to show in a little extra, too. You guys are going to like this because um, I'm going to show just some of the technology they used. And then you can only imagine, poof, like what the hell do they really have on today's rovers and landers? Uh, and what are they capable of? So anyway, guys, stick with me on that. No problem. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back. It's Like I said, it's been crazy here, um, you know, with uh, the, the job situation, which is not a big deal. I just jump into something else and rock and roll it. Um, but if you guys are anything like me, you know, you kind of like get kind of set where you're at and then you get out of your comfort zone, which is not a big deal to me, but you know, it just, yeah, it sucks. Nobody wants a job hop. That's, you know, my last job before that was like 15 years I worked at it. So yeah, I'm not one of these guys that jump from job to job. And so I can't stand to do that, but you know, it is what it is. That's the way I look at it, you know, get busy, get another job and you know, make them Benjamins. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And like I said, get, get ready for the, the next moon video I have because you got even more crazier stuff uh there's no doubt get this there's no doubt that there is structures on this moon and the photos were taken back way back so anyway guys join me for that one in the next one and I'll see you in the next video